Hello again, Jacket fans. Welcome to another edition of Buzz Vision here on the Letourneau University YouTube channel. Joining me is head men's and women's tennis coach Suzanne Merritt. And Suzanne, thank you for joining us. Thank you. You are four games into the season with the men. They got off to a great start, three and one so far. Have competed very well. Just give us your thoughts early on how the men have been doing. Well, we did get off to a great start. We do still have a lot of work to do as we lead into the matches that will get us into the conference playoffs. It was good, these four matches. I think we've all seen things that the team needs to work on, that the individuals need to work on. But they had some great results. Tell us a little bit about your number one, uh, Carlos Cantu, one of the only seniors, and what, what he's been able to do so far. Carlos always plays with a lot of passion. He brings a lot of leadership to our team in that way. He had to pull out a couple of close three-set matches in his singles. He's teamed with uh, freshman Laird Beatty for doubles, and they had a great win against McMurray together. All right, now tell us a little bit. You, you just brought up Laird ba uh, Beatty. He had uh, Aaron ASC, uh, East Player of the Week, right. uh, as a freshman in the very right. first week. Uh, tell about his performance so far, and tell us a little bit of what you've seen so far from your newcomers. He, uh, all of the freshmen have done really well. They're a hard-working group. They're working hard together, so I'm really impressed with them. I really expect a lot of good things from them. Laird is a very strong, uh, physical player. He played very well in all four of the matches that we uh, started off with. He's uh, learning to be more consistent, uh, to play a little smarter at this level, but he's got all the tools for that. So. Now, now tell us a little bit, you have a deep team this year on the men's I side, have a, have a lot of players. Tell us about the competition you're seeing in practice because, you know, your, your top six, your top three in doubles can change really at any yes. point with all the competition. Yes, um, honestly, especially with all the freshmen that came in that are very competitive with each other, we have a lot of possibilities for different lineups, different doubles combinations. It's a real luxury to have. If somebody needs to be out a day or two, we don't have a problem as far as uh, still having a very strong lineup. We should be stronger at the bottom of our lineup than most of the competition that we'll see. Now tell us, you know, going forward, as we said, the guys are off to a 3 and one start, regionally ranked right now, and have already defeated the number 15 team in the region in Hardin-Simmons, a huge win earlier this year. What, what, what are you hoping to see throughout the season uh, from your team and possibly competing in the uh, ASC East for a crown? Well, I'm telling them that we're taking steps. It's, a, it's going to be a long journey. We have, we have a great plan so far. We have our uh, season in our minds divided into thirds, first third. We're working harder to get stronger and faster. The second third we'll be working on those maintenance and competing better. And the third we will be competing for hopefully getting into that conference championship. Um, I feel like they have an idea after these first matches of what it's going to take and they seem very willing to work for it. Now we focus our attention to the women and we start off with uh, junior Sarah Case right. has been dominant so right. far especially in singles competition. Uh, earned ASC East Player of the Week to start the season. Man, just tell us what you've seen from her. I'll tell you what, I was so proud of her on that first trip because we hadn't practiced a great deal before we left and she played so smoothly, very smart. She's a very powerful player. She um, has a very powerful serve and she played well within herself. She used her best shots against her opponents. She looked good in every match. She especially looked good against Division II McMurray singles. And she and Shelby played great doubles together too. Shelby May also a returner. So that was very exciting to watch. Tell us a little bit, you, know, you just brought up uh, uh, Shelby, another junior, uh, playing number three singles, number one doubles. Tell us a little bit she's done so far, uh, very competitive so far, right. has picked up some big wins, has right. had a couple three set matches. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about her so Well, far. Shelby is just all heart. She just goes out, she'll stay out there all day, she leaves everything out there. She's a great um, player to get to coach because whatever you ask her to work on, she works at it wholeheartedly and with 100% effort. So I expect her to continue to improve. Very proud of her on the very first match. She lost a tight third set and it was disappointing. She went out the next day and won a tight third set. So I told her at the end of that match, I didn't think she
she would ever repeat that, having match points and not pulling it off, and sure enough, she did it. She went out and played extremely strongly when the match was close. Now tell us a little bit, uh, you know, we mentioned how deep your men's team are. Women's team not quite as deep. What are some of your goals coming into the season uh, for the women's team? Well, uh, we aren't quite as uh, deep. We don't have as many players. In fact, we did play short for our first matches, but I do have uh, some strong returners back. I have some freshmen that are working hard. So the goal is to have the freshmen um, be ready for the next stages of competition. The returners have an idea of how tough it's going to be. They had a great season last year and I'm expecting them to have the same thing. They're also, all four of the returners are very good leaders. They work well with the freshmen and the freshmen competing against them and practicing with them day in, day out will definitely improve their performances too. Uh, and tell us a little bit so far about, about your other returners. You have your one senior in uh, Miranda Lamb. And, uh, of course, Kayla coming right. up here for her first match coming right. up soon. Tell us what they've been able to do both in practice and in competition. Well, Miranda took the fall off, so we're still basically getting her back into the form that she played with last year. I don't see that there will be any problem with that. Um, she's a very good doubles player, so she helps us a lot in that doubles lineup. Kayla's just a warrior. Kayla will say, will do anything to make sure she gets that win. She'll, um, she'll stay out there all day. She'll fight. Kayla never says die. So she brings a lot to our lineup. I know that I can put her out there and depend on her to get the job done. So I'm anxious to have her back as well. Well, Coach, we thank you for joining us. We look forward to a great tennis season uh, all year long. You can catch the men's and women's tennis team uh, at home here on here at Laterno University. And be on the lookout for more videos, both with Coach Merritt and some of her players uh, in the upcoming weeks. We thank you again for watching BuzzVision, and we will be back very soon.